That's Nosia up ahead, game face Jack.
Can I call dibs? Not the time, Jack. So, what's the plan? To know. This all feels a bit improvisational, if I'm being honest. You bring no banner? Didn't feel the need. I held a small hope you might see reason. Yet you remain the same Kirken that made me abandon the Immortals years ago. Obsessed with victory. Stranger to compromise. Your eye ever bent towards the world's ruin. And you just want to save it. I can. With this. Its mastery over the fonts means I can end the war. You mean win the war by turning the rest of us defenseless. In our every meeting, a yipping pup. Jack's right, though. You're not worthy of that power, Sandrak. Your airships bomb the free cities of the East and then wonder why they resist you now? The last order that surrendered to Rasharn, you burned their ambassadors alive. If my eye is ever bent towards the world's ruin, it's because I'm trying to stop the man causing so much of it. Please, don't make me do this. Captain Selko. You went mad. You didn't abandon us. You were exiled. And I'm still paying the price for not killing you. Remember, this blood is on your hands. It's the wound! He's moving it! We have to go! Now! Fall back! Devin. Jack, glad you're on your feet. That could have been so much worse. It took ages, but Zandara was finally able to dig you out of the rubble. Oh, no, not her. I rather would have died. I'm never living that down. Nope. Never. How many did we lose? Considering Sandrak just dropped a city into the wound, surprisingly few. But enough to have made his point. Kirkens left for Lavenry to talk with the king. He wants a full surrender after Nosea. There's even talk that Kirkin's emergency powers may be rescinded. So who's in charge? Uh, Zendara. And I'll warn you, she's in a bit of a mood. Kind of on brand for her. I heard that! Whoops. Meet us in the war chamber, Jack. We've come to the conclusion that we're in desperate need of a plan. Silas. Hello, sir. How many lightlists does your Magnus oversee? Can't count them all by now. He's been taking on the debts of hundreds of us from the other Magni for years. As I understand it, having an implied private army within the army is a mark of prestige in the dynastic houses. You know, like you'll be doing now that you're an immortal. Yeah, no, I wasn't planning on it. Are you serious? 
Debt collection seems wonderful to me. I mean, us Lightless have been trained at the country's expense, and our arms and armor aren't free, are they? It adds up fighting for one's king. You know that's fucking insane, right? As a general line of thinking. Huh. Is it? But then, who am I to question the ways of the Magni, sir? I might even be accused of being unpatriotic. Kirkin was your father's commanding officer at Sundown 10? Indeed she was, sir. Ages ago. What a harrowing experience that was, by all accounts. My father's still shaken by it. Sundown 10's one of the few battles where Rasharn deployed its Archon Battalion. Even though it was a Lucian victory, due to your Grand Magnus, of course, they say the Archons were granted rights of citizenship in Rasharn after that. Their constructs are citizens? Just the Archons, sir, for their valor in battle. They're allowed free worship, of what I can't begin to imagine, and have the vote so long as they serve in the Rasharnian armed forces for a span. That's what some of my squad mates used to say anyway, the older ones. It could just be a lightless soldier's tale. You know how fanciful they can be when it comes to ideas of rights and opportunities and such? That shouldn't have to be fanciful. <laughs> now you're just pulling my leg, sir. I'd better go. Lordship. Jack? I didn't see you at Nosia when we confronted Sandrak. Were you there? Answered your own question there, no? I mean, maybe that was the point. You not being seen. Like you were covering us or something. Considering what happened, perhaps I should have been. But no, I was away taking care of a few things. 
An ambassador of Kai Lei caught wind of the meeting in Nasir. Thought they would show up with a delegation to show their support for Lucium's surrender. Yeah, they didn't make it. Funny that. Talk to you later, Hauser. Glad to see you, Captain Soko. After what happened at Nosia, I wasn't sure who... Well, who made it. Sir. Everything okay? That's a dumb question, isn't it? My husband lost his son at Nosia. It was a disaster. And I... Well... He was one of the many soldiers I brought through with the portal stone. I'm so sorry, Captain. But no one knew how powerful Sandrak had become. That's not on you. Don't. There's no scenario where I'm blameless in this. Do you want to talk about it? You probably don't want to know how I really feel. My thoughts aren't very kind towards the Magni at the moment. I'm a Go ahead. You know I won't take it personally. I know, sir, but it's just... The Lightless live and die according to the rather monstrous whims of the Magni, wouldn't you say? Nosea was the perfect example of that. Yeah. It feels like it sometimes. I grew up without any real magic, and, well, there's a reason my family and I had to hide out in the Underbridge. To find our life, instead of living the one the Magni would give you. It takes its toll, the structure of it all. Yeah, something like that. Forgive me, sir. I'm just still shaken by the whole ordeal. I'll find myself in time. Kirkin may be gone, but our job's still the same. Eliminating Sandrak and his hold over the fonts. There are five, right? He can't have them all yet. We may not know what the Binding Stone does or how Sandrak uses it, but we can try and keep him away from the rest if all of us just... What? The fonts are hidden from us, Jack. Invisible. Buried in the liminal spaces where the borders between Avium and the Shrouded Realm are weakest. We only know the location of two. The Palathon is actually built around one, and the other is in the Tower of Masks in Risharn. Which means Sandrax already used the Binding Stone to absorb its power. We have to assume he has. Technically, we now know the location of three fonts, but the one in the Pale Forest is, well, you saw what happened to it. So that leaves the last two, and only Sandrak knows where they are. Fine. We pin that, we concentrate on the Binding Stone instead. We know where that is. We just need to learn how to shut it off. And fast. Not necessarily. According to my research, a Thradical takes a huge toll on its possessor. Sandrak will have to rest before doing another stunt like that. We may have a little time. Which leads us to former Grand Magnus, Thaddeus. Kirkin's predecessor, now in exile. The oldest of us that still lives. By all accounts, he was an expert on Aristea. If there's a weakness to the very Aristean Binding Stone, he'll know about it. In theory. Mmm, sticky wicket, the situation with Thaddeus. That's not important. Kind of feels like it is. What Zendara means to say is it doesn't matter that Thaddeus hates the Immortals and everything we stand for because you'll undoubtedly figure out a way to convince him to help us. And a bonus potential setback because the universe is cruel. Like the remaining fonts, we also don't know where Thaddeus is. His last known location was the Sky Islands of Oriman, digging through the archives at the Library of Akoth. Okay, then what are we waiting for? I go to Oriman, make nice with a friendly librarian. Actually, getting to Oriman is difficult, Initiate. You're gonna need to learn how to ride a ley line. Devin, you're running support. Walk Jack through what he... needs to do to get airborne. Ready when you are, Jack.
Sir, about Orman and what's his name? Thaddeus? Were the mission parameters unclear? No, sir. I just figured some more intel never hurts. It hurts time, Initiate. Do you want to hurt time? I don't know much about Orman. Never been that far west in any of the fighting. That's because Orman dropped out of the Everwar a long time ago. Even before then, they remained largely neutral. Then their magical experiments cut them off from the rest of the kingdoms, and it didn't much matter anymore. Cut off how? I don't have time to give you a history lesson. Devon can catch you up. All you need to know at present is that the Oromic made it a bitch to get out to them. Hence your need to ride a ley line. And what about the Oromic themselves? What's left of them are nomads, migrating from one sky island to another in search of arcanum deposits. Also, they can be a pain in the ass to deal with when you're an outsider. The guy I'm looking for, our former Grand Magnus, does he really hate the Immortals? The feeling's mutual. Your job is to ignore all that and find out what he knows about the Binding Stone. It'd be so much easier to ignore if I knew what it actually was. Nice try. Sir, come on. Thaddeus was Kirkin's mentor. Sandrax, too, in a way. Then he bailed on the Order for reasons you don't need to know, leaving Kirkin to fill his position when she really didn't feel ready for it. She was a huge fan of that. At least you're sending the new guy to navigate through all the complicated drama. All right, I'm good. Heading out. Don't fuck this one up, Initiate. You'll need a special spell to properly ride the ley lines, and a strong stomach. Why? What's this spell like? Like Lash, only more panic, vertigo, and fear of heights. Fortunately, there's a Shroud Fane in the Harrows where you can find one. The Harrows over in Havenshire? Got it. All right, I'll be quick. But hey, you okay? We never really got to talk about what happened at Nosia. They're hard for me to pass, honestly. My feelings on all of that destruction. Call me when you have the spell and I'll tell you where we go from there. I think I have a spell for that. Thank <laughs> you. 